for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The glitchiest plays in Madden are always found in alternate playbooks. I'm Mad Money Shot, and today's gonna to be going over the top five glitchiest plays that can only be found in alternate playbooks. That's right, if you wanna add them to your custom playbook or something like that, you can't do that because they're only found in alternate playbooks. With that being said, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the video. The first play I'm going to show you is in two different alternate playbooks, but it's still not in custom playbooks. That's going to be the pistol playbook and the run and gun. The formation is the weak slot flex. I already put out a full breakdown of this offense. If you guys didn't check that, I'll have a link in the description. But the play itself is going to be the power option. This is a very hard to stop run play. What makes this play so hard to stop is going to be the pitch. At any point in time, hit the left bumper and you'll see that you'll get a pitch out to the running back that typically can either bail you out of a bad situation or can lead to a very exciting explosive play. All you have to do is hold this ball with the quarterback as long as possible and typically this pitch will send the ball forward about 10 yards. This play can be flipped with the right stick without flipping the entire formation which really comes in handy if you run a lot across somebody that likes to run a lot of man coverages like we're seeing here. This is a man coverage. Typically when you see man coverages the two cornerbacks will be in front of the two receivers on the left side so flipping this play even though the blocking diagram doesn't necessarily help pays huge dividends based on the fact that once you get that pitch out there's really nobody out here to stop the run. So it's best to run this play in the direction that it's designed against zone, but against man coverage, you can have some really big plays, mostly because the pitch is such a long version. It basically guarantees you a 10 yard run just about every single time you use it. Next up out of the pistol playbook and run and gun, again, we have the pistol bunch TE formation. This formation used to be one of the glitches formations in Madden. What do they typically do when there's a very hard to stop formation? They typically take it out of the game entirely. Now they did replace this formation with a very similar looking single back bunch bunch TE but at the end of the day it's not as good as the pistol bunch TE is. The play that is probably the hardest to stop is going to be the pistol bunch TE cross drag. There's so many crossing receivers in this play it really makes it impossible to stop. This play doesn't really need any adjustments as it really just takes advantage of all the crossing routes. You really just want to work this play from front to back from the drag to the deep crosser to the in route. This play will have success against man and zone alike as the crossing routes will pretty much always get open no matter what defense you look at, whether it's man or zone. That particular defense right there, I wasn't even sure what that was. I'm going to guess it was like a cover four something because that receiver was wide open. But that's the whole point. All these crossing routes really make it difficult for these zone coverages to defend. You have an additional option as well, and this is something that I run quite a bit. If you motion out the running back, put him on a slant, and put the A route on a streak, that will help the pullback coverages and will help to get these crossing routes open even more against shallow uh, routes like you can see right here once again we have another one play touchdown I don't know what defense we're looking at it really doesn't matter if you're not good at reading defenses you could run this play all game long basically just hitting the crossing routes and having a lot of success the next play I'm gonna go over is a pass play out of the run balance playbook the formation itself is the pistol full house TE for whatever reason it's not in the pistol playbook now as far as the play goes you can see it's very unique it as three tight ends one running back and one receiver has a lot of very unique looking run plays some of which you can find in other formations that are very similar like the counter lead but this particular pass play, the PA tight end corner, is a very unique play that home runs every single defense in the game without any adjustments. On this particular defense here, we have a cover two zone. You'll see how the red route here, the B route, basically pulls apart the coverage against just about every single defense, whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four, it doesn't really matter. This play needs no adjustments. Against certain defenses, you will have to motion in this receiver, but that's it. Other than that, you don't even really have to do that Most against most defenses. This particular defense I'm working with first is going to be a cover two zone you're going to see how the safeties split because of that red route once again this receiver is just wide open down the middle of the field has the same effect against cover two man but once again motioning this guy in is going to be more effective based off of the fact that the cornerback is no longer pressing and it gives him an inside release you'll see the safeties react the exact same way and ultimately the receiver is scoring for an easy one play touchdown once again now we're looking at a cover three zone same thing you can motion this guy in or you can leave him outside it really doesn't matter but you'll see how once again this receiver gets past the cover three cornerback based on the fact that the cover three cornerback is pulled aside from that red route from the tight end one more time 
The only defense you really have to make a change when it comes to this is against regular cover four, where you typically have to motion out the B route. This is the only thing that will make this play more successful is, once again, another traditional motion. But you'll see the X route will basically get open right up the middle of the two safeties because they're split more apart based off of that motion. But this play is designed so perfectly that it really home runs every single defense man or zone with a slight motion of either the X route or the B route. Next up, we have two plays from one of the glitchiest playbooks in the game. That's going to be the West Coast. There's two very glitchy formations that can only be found in this particular playbook. The the near and the far. I'm going to show you a play from each. Now, from the first one, we have the near close, and the play itself is going to be the drag post. This is another play that's a one-play touchdown against just about every single defense with no adjustments. Right now, we're looking at a Tampa 2. You're going to see how the B route's going to be the play one more time, as eventually this linebacker here will just basically get past that for a very easy one-play touchdown as the safety plays down because of the crossing drag route. Now, we're looking at a cover 2 man. If I were to make any adjustments, I would say blocking the running back would make a lot of sense, but ultimately we're going to have the exact same effect as the B route just runs right past the cornerback and right over the top of the cover two safety. Against cover three, it'll have the exact same effect. It'll be more effective if you put the X route on an out route at about 10 yards, but to keep with this play, we really don't have to make any adjustments. So you'll see how the B route will once again get over the top. It's going to be a slighter window than if you make that adjustment, which you see the window is there. So if you want to make that out route adjustment, it will help the play. It will get more open, but ultimately you don't have to. And then last but not least, we have cover four once again, which is going to be a very easy one play touchdown just as long as you wait for him to cross the, uh, the last safety. You see he gets over the top of the cornerback, making it a one-play touchdown against every play in the game, man or zone. The last play I'm going to show you once again is from the exact same playbook, the West Coast playbook. If you guys want to see a full breakdown of any of the plays I'm showing you guys, a corresponding offensive breakdown of more pass plays, more run plays, let me know in the comments section. But the last play I'm going to show you guys is going to be out of the far tight slots, and the play itself is going to be called the flats. This is another play that's going to be a one-play touchdown against every single defensive game with no adjustments. There are adjustments that you can make to make this play uh, an easy your one play touchdown things like putting the a route here on a 10 yard out route rather than a five yard out route blocking the running backs will give you better blocking but to keep with the theme of the video we're just going to basically leave this as is no adjustments and i'll show you how this play is super glitchy when it comes to scoring one play touchdowns against all defenses now this first defense cover two zone once again you can see he gets past the cornerback so we're going to do that again you can see the x right here just as long as he gets a clean enough release we'll get over the top of any cover two safety whether it's man or zone as you can see we did there once again Against cover three, is it a little, it's a little bit more critical that the A route is on a 10-yard out route. It will definitely help to pull the defense more. But ultimately, the X route is still going to get over the top of cover three as long as you have a fast enough receiver. This play is also a cover four one-play touchdown, but you typically have to run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field and get a pretty good pass lead once the receiver gets past the safety. You'll have a very easy one-play touchdown against cover four regular, just like we scored against every other single defense in the game. So that's, that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos, on this topic more videos on alternate playbooks explosive glitchy plays that are only found on alternate playbooks hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below